Hello everybody, what's up? Welcome back again to Rama Screen YouTube channel. So let's get right to it. Uh, this topic uh, hit the web earlier this morning or earlier today and it had gone viral ever since. So basically Rolling Stone magazine published a lengthy article which you can read over there. I'm not going to open it here because it's freaking long. <laughs> uh, but you know, Rolling Stone gave the excerpts on uh, X or Twitter, formerly known as Twitter. Uh, basically, an article about Jimmy Fallon. Uh, those of you who live outside the United States of America, you probably don't know Jimmy Fallon. Um, he's mostly famous for Saturday Night Live. And then after he left Saturday Night Live, he had a few bad movies, movies that don't make money or didn't make money. <laughs> and then um, and then he became a talk show host. So here in America, late night shows are very popular and he is one of the many many you know uh, late night hosts um currently uh, man it's too many bro like back in the day it was like jay leno and david letterman you know that's it and um, sometimes craig fergus for, for craig ferguson um but now there's just too many to mention anyway so jimmy fallon is a popular talk show host here in america um, and Rolling Stone uh, published an expose uh, revealing that exclusive 16 current and former staffers say Jimmy Fallon's erratic behavior spoiled their dream of working on The Tonight Show. Quote, you never knew which Jimmy were going, we were going to get and when he was going to throw a hissy fit. Um... Here's another one here from Rolling Stone. Two employees at The Tonight Show allege Jimmy Fallon scolded a crew member in charge of cue cards in the middle of taping with comedian Jerry Seinfeld. Seinfeld told Fallon to apologize to the cue card production member, which he then allegedly did. Man, you know you fucked up when Jerry Seinfeld had to tell you to apologize to your worker, man. <laughs> and Jerry is one of the biggest names in comedy. You know, I was like, don't. don't. Man, even <sighs> Jimmy, what are you doing, bro? What are you doing yelling at a cue card worker? Somebody who gets paid like freaking minimum wage, you know? And you, Jimmy, gets paid millions of dollars. So the entitlement, you know, this this whole boss millionaire thing really apparently has gotten to his head that he that he really looks down on his subordinates. And, you know, it's, it's really the signs of arrogance and pride. And for people like Seinfeld, who, who, who is also a millionaire and successful, you know, a, a good on him for having his our ego on check you know jerry seinfeld is not a guy who uh, who still jerry seinfeld is, is the kind of guy he strikes me as a guy who still remembers who still remembers what or how he was like before fame and money before he got that seinfeld show you know some people really still even when success hits them they still remember uh when they were poor you know they, they never forget where they come from Seinfeld is that kind of guy. Jimmy Fallon, on the other hand, um, has been in a bubble of of his success for too long. Um, he doesn't remember anymore how he auditioned for SNL and he how every time he's on SNL, he always breaks character and like bursts into laughter, like ruining every sketch. God, I hate that man. I never liked Jimmy Fallon, you know, even on SNL for that reason I just mentioned. Like, dude, you're in a sketch. You're in a sketch, man. <laughs> Do it properly, okay? And, you know, the whole thing like, oh, I'm breaking character. I'm bursting laughter. Isn't that adorable? It only works for like a couple of times, you know. But when you do it every time, it's annoying. Um, So, yeah, it's here. It's like Seinfeld even had to tell him like, Jimmy, you got to apologize. Like, that's embarrassing. Your guest, your guest is telling you, the host, to apologize to your worker. That's humiliating, man. That you know, that's shame on you, Jimmy. Um, let's see what else here. Okay, former employees described the the Tonight Show well as a pretty glum atmosphere, with some with some of them alleging that they were belittled, 
and intimidated by their bosses, including Jimmy Fallon himself. Mentally, I was in the lowest. I was in the lowest place of my life. A former employee said. Um, Rolling Stone co contacted more than 50 Tonight Show employees, past and present, during the reporting for this story. After reaching out to representatives for Fallon and NBC, Rolling Stone reached out to an additional 30 current and former staffers. While many of them praise Fallon's immense talent and comedic gifts, not a single one agreed to speak on the record or had positive things to say about working on The Tonight Show, nor would any of the program's nine showrunners since 2014. They had gone through, uh, they had gone through nine showrunners since uh, Jimmy Fallon got that job. Um, I have met Jay Leno. Uh, in person, I did not interview him. I met him uh, um, in person, just like you know, cordially. Um, I met Conan O'Brien uh, at the at one of the Star Wars uh, screening. Uh, he actually sat behind me too. <laughs> um, Jay and Conan O'Brien are some of the nicest people I've ever met, and I have heard stories that he, they also treat their employees really really well um jay is nice to their to his workers and conan o'brien is nice to his work so when when so when remember remember when there was this jay leno versus conan o'brien saga when nbc was screwing conan o'brien over from his tonight show um spot he was supposed to hold that spot but then they they stole it from him and give it back to jay leno after jay leno supposedly retired um, that whole saga is, is, you know, causes bad blood between Jay and Conan. But I can tell you right now, from my personal uh, experience, that both Jay and Conan are nice people. I, I've never met Jimmy Fallon. I've never met Jimmy Fallon. So I don't know how he is, man, in person. Um, so I don't know him personally at all. Um, but, you know... Judging from these uh, testimonies on this expose from Rolling Stone, it's obvious that Jimmy Fallon is just putting on a face whenever he goes on the show, all happy and you know excited and whatnot. Apparently, that's all just an act, <laughs> um, kind of like Lizzo. <laughs> Lizzo's just pretending to be, you know, oh the the champion of the marginalized, you know. Um, when the Lizzo's workers like, hey, she's a bit of a nightmare, nightmare. And uh, Jimmy Fallon's employees like, yeah, Jimmy's a nightmare too. Um, you know, I never liked Jimmy Fallon's uh, Tonight's Show. Uh, the thing is, even his political monologue, because, you know, every, every Tonight Show host or every late night show host does a political monologue at the beginning. His political political monologues are not funny. And... Jimmy, as a host, is more concerned about going viral with his celebrity guests. So it's all about, like, let's play a game, which there's nothing wrong with that. But that seems to be the highlight every single time. Like, you know, it's like, oh, game this, game that. Uh, I think at one point he, I, I saw a clip of him and Jennifer Lopez did a dance of recreating Britney Spears dance. So that's that's what he, what he does, you know. There's there's not much commentary, you know, and even the conversation that he has with his guests is uh, the conversations are very shallow. Jimmy never wants to rattle the cage. He never wants to have deep conversations about the the current state of affairs. You know, and there's nothing wrong with keeping it light. But if it's if keeping it light is is what it is every single time, every single night, then then you're a one trick pony. <laughs> if you can't mix things up a little, um, even Stephen Colbert can mix things up a little bit between the two. Um, so, yeah, he's a one trick pony. Just I, I never get the appeal of Jimmy. So my reaction to this expose is like, I'm not that surprised. Um, I know that one of you guys commented um, that, hey, maybe these these employees need to need to have a video evidence 
or maybe an audio recording of their boss treating them like shit because we keep hearing about talk show hosts being mean to their employees but show us the evidence um my re my response to that is like that's kind of tough because it's it's not like a one time incident it's a, a recurring thing and and you never know when they're gonna explode them as in like the boss is gonna explode you know they could be nice one day and then angry the next day so it's not like the employees will have to entrap entrap their boss like with a secret recording like because you know it's one of those unpredictable things um but there's a pattern after a while you know you see the pattern you notice it um and i i read somewhere that apparently uh i think the employees also use use one of the i i can't really find this There's, oh well i'll go back to the thing again i read somewhere that the employees of jimmy fallon use one of the guest dressing rooms as quote unquote crying room <laughs> I, i've i've heard that before and you know what i i can believe that all right i'm not laughing at them i'm just like i'm laughing at the fact that wow even he has you know his employees also have crying room now crying room means like people who, uh, a room that they can go to to just hide out and hide away and just you know uh cry basically because they've been treated so poorly by their bosses um you heard stories about ellen degeneres uh, also treating uh, her employees badly to the point where it, he she was exposed for that and th i think she had to apologize for that too if you can look it up um i don't re recall the details uh steve harvey also treated uh, his employees badly um but I do have some respect for Steve Harvey, though, because he was, you know, upbringing wise. And when he was a kid, I think he was dirt poor. I mean, the, the, the arc of his life and how to how he got to where he is right now. I, I, I have an ounce of respect for that. Um, but that but still, that does not justify or that does not excuse you treating your workers like shit. OK. If you have gotten to the point of success in your life, you're supposed to bring the elevator back down. You're supposed to do everything you can to help the little guys. And and, and th those guys, you know, just like we, we talked early uh, uh, on the other video about critics getting paid for their reviews. You know, you're lying to your audiences who your audiences who trust your view, who trust your opinions. You're lying, you know. So if you, Jimmy, if you're, if you're Jimmy Fallon, if you're, you know, somebody successful, Ellen, or whatever field of work that you're at, if you're a boss at your workplace, there's these people beneath you or under you who look up to you. And it's, uh, you know, they may also aspire to become like you. You know, they may want to have the ambition to, to reach the point of success that you are enjoying. So don't poo poo that don't shit on that by by stepping on them you know by leaving them with a bad impression of you all right so you got to remember that you got to remember that you know everybody's uh, whether you like it or not whether you want to admit it or not people are watching you people are taking notes sometimes taking examples from you especially when you're in a higher up place a higher up position so give good examples to people okay lead by good examples all right don't 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 leave uh with a bitter aftertaste in their mouth you know what i'm saying uh, i know that's the the the, or the worst analogy ever basically don't leave with a don't leave them with a bad impression it it, it really is not cool when you have two face <laughs> meaning you know when the spotlight's on you you're like oh be kind be nice everybody you know just like ellen DeGeneres always like yo be warm to you you know be nice you know give a, give a hug to everybody but then behind the scenes you have the other face like oh where's my coffee damn you this is not the tea i ordered oh this thing is too hot oh why can't you do anything right around here you cue card hold that cue card right huh freaking a do you have what are you you got 10 fingers or not what what the hell <laughs> 
Really, Jimmy? The cue card guy? Of all the people you're yelling at, you're supposed to be punching up. Comedians are funniest when they're punching up, not when they're punching down. You know, when you're punching down, you're an asshole. You're not funny. You're not being comical. You're just an asshole. You got to punch up. You got to punch up. That's when you're funny. That's why George Carlin was one of the funniest of all time because he was punching up. So, yeah, uh, I'm not surprised. I, I, does this mean that I want Jimmy Fallon canceled? No, no, no. I don't want him to lose his job. You know, uh, I want him to change. I want him to be better. You know, I want him to address this. Remember when writer's strike happened, Jimmy Fallon was like kind of dragging his feet behind, kind of was late in the game. Other talk show hosts were, were already throwing in their support for their own writers, but Jimmy Fallon was kind of lagging on that. Now he has his podcasting with uh, with other talk show hosts, so he's he's trying to fix his reputation now. It's like, oh yeah, I I am for my writers. I'm supporting. Um, I guess better late than never, right? But now with this expose, you know, you gotta do better, Jimmy. You gotta you gotta support your underlings, man. You gotta support your the people who who support you the 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 you, you have the support system you know the tonight show host it takes a village to put that together you're not you're not a one man island jimmy you can't run the cameraman you can't run the cue card yourself you can't you know bring your own coffee you can <laughs> you can't produce your own show you're a host you got to you know you have you need the script and you need the the jokes you ha- you need the writers for those jokes you need people. You need these people. So treat them nicely, bro. Treat them better. All right. You know these are writers that write your jokes for crying out loud. So, um, yeah, that's my thoughts about this. Let me know your thoughts uh, on this topic. Uh, does this change your perspective of Jimmy Fallon? Uh, does this expose now that now that you know that he's treating his workers badly? Does this change your uh, the way you th- see Jimmy Fallon when you watch him uh, at night, like on TV show? Do you hate him now, or like do you are you gonna boycott him, or do you do, are you still gonna be a fan of him? Uh, and why? And why? 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 Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Let's rock this.